Hi, I'm Kat Bennett. I'm an artist in Boston. I make paintings and other art objects. I was also an illustrator for many years. I am also the author of three books on creative process. And today I'd just like to tell you about my three favorite brushes. The first is by Princeton. This is a number six. And it comes to a very fine point. So I like it because I can draw with it. It, it has, the lines can be thick or thin or whatever. And it, even though it's not an expensive brush, it seems to really keep its shape and come to a fine point. My second one is this fat one. This is a Dick Blick. It doesn't matter whether what brand it is really. It's a number 30, but it's nice and wide and I can cover a lot of territory in a short amount of time. And I kind of like to cover territory in a short amount of time. So that one really works for me. But my all time favorite brush is this one. And it's by, also by Princeton. I think it's, I can't even see what number it is, but it's uh, probably a number 12 or something like that. You can see how thick it is and it destroys itself very quickly. If you use acrylic paint um, or even watercolors, it, it kind of splays and gets really sloppy and messy. And that's what I love about it because then I can't be precious anymore. I just have to go with what happens on the paper or on the canvas or on the wood or whatever I'm working with. And that makes everything more spontaneous and alive. So I've come to love this brush and I actually destroy quite a few of them. I don't spend a lot of money anymore on brushes. I used to when I was an illustrator and, and my work was smaller and had to be in a more confined space and more accurate. Now I don't think it matters so much. I can use these brushes, which none of them are very expensive, and just go from there. So thank you for joining me today and have fun painting.